Here we go. Let's let's do this one. Let's do this third one from Javier. This network scanner is kind of the same deal with the printer, but probably I haven't read it yet, but it's okay. Ooh, we got screenshots. I love screenshots. All right. From Javier P. Thank you, Javier, for submitting these tickets. Uh, the site can't provide a secure connection. Secure connection failed. Chrome Firefox error. So it's an error that we get when we go to a certain website. Hi, Kobelman. I'm having an issue when I try to access VPN portal via IP address on Google Chrome or Firefox. Uh, well, first of all, you should be using the web browser or the, the not the web browser, I'm sorry, the, uh, the, the website name, I should say, or domain name instead of the IP address. If you have to use an IP address for some reason, then there's an issue with DNS, which is another issue. The error I receive is the following on both web browsers. Google Chrome and Firefox, this site can't provide a secure connection. IP address uses an unsupported protocol. Error SSL version of cipher mismatch. Okay, so right now this tells me that there is an issue with the uh, certificate, the security certificate for the website. On Firefox, the error says secure connection failed. Error during connection. Okay, we'll, we'll check these uh, screenshots out. Any suggestions, please? Yeah, absolutely. We'll take a look. Love the screenshots. Love the screenshots. All right, here we go. Uh, so, secure, okay, SSL version, this site can't provide a secure connection, and what you, looks like what you brought in, or what you kind of scratched out is the IP address of it, which is fine, thank you for doing that, unsupported protocol, so, this usually happens when, just speaking as a web developer of some sort right i have a website that i've created and i've seen this issue when a web page's front end is broken now this could also mean that the security certificate is expired and i'll show you examples i'm just looking at the second screenshots here secure connection failed using unsupported version of security protocol okay so it's kind of the same deal, it's just a different browser. So as a web dev, here, let me show you something here. As an amateur web dev, and you don't need to be a professional to figure this out. As an amateur web dev, uh, this is some basic knowledge that you should know as a help desk if you want to be a pro help desk. Okay? So let me show you this. I'm going to ping my own website, CosmicNovo.com. So here's the IP address for that, and it comes up here. So I'm going to take it, and I'm going to copy it. This is my own website, and I'm going to open up a new page. And what I'm going to do is go to CosmicNovo.com first. So I'm, instead of using the IP address, I'm doing what you're supposed to be using on a website that's supposed to be working properly. You just use a domain name, which is also known as host name, you should not be using an IP address to reach a front end of a website. If you are, if you are using it, that means that there's something wrong with the front end of your website, meaning this here, what you're looking at right here, this is the front of it. That means there is a configuration issue there. So, but if I go open up a new tab and just type in the IP address, this is what you get. You see that? So you should either be using the correct correct uh, host name or the domain name in this in my case it's cosmicnova.com or if you're constantly using the IP address this is what you're getting right so if you look at this now now there's suddenly an issue with secure or uh, security certificate right and here it is net error cert authority invalid now let's see what the your error is in comparison it's I think it's something similar See so yours says SSL version or cipher mismatch. And that's for one of the browsers. The other browser is going to give something else. And here it says SSL error unsupported version. Okay. Now I can proceed here if I select advanced. 
and I select continue to blah 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 but you can see here that it says unsafe because you're not supposed to be using this website or any website just by using the IP address there's really no need you should be using a domain name in my case cosmicnovo.com because you need a functioning DNS to do this now if you cannot reach if you cannot so let me just click here continue you see that and it's going to go to the website it's going to work fine except I'm going to have this glaring error that the HTTPS is not working meaning that the, the encryption the any data that you send to this website and any data that you receive is now not encrypted because I'm ro using the wrong version of the website but if I go back to using a regular version of the website you can see that it's completely secure connection is secure because I'm using it correctly and this is why this is a configuration issue on the website itself so you need to fix the front end or start using regular website names so you should not be using a an IP address just like I did here because you get those type of errors right that's pretty much all I have to say about that so if you have access to this or if you know the web admin then make sure you reach out to them and uh, show them the screenshots now I've seen and this is really bad I've seen some web developers don't care uh, like especially if it's on a local local network hey which is which is not right I would not I mean what can you say about that they need to fix it but if they're not fixing it then I would bring it up to their manager if it's an issue now you can go to a website like that and maybe fine if you're just browsing and you still may get this certificate error let me just kind of go back to it you still may get this security error or something similar well mine already kind of I already told it that it's okay to go here but if you get these uh, you may have a certificate that's been that's expired because it could be like a self signed self created or self signed certificate it means it's not approved by a third party in this case it could still be encrypted except the website is not the security for the website security certificate is not verified by a third party you know that could still be the case but I have a feeling your issue is that the front end is broken and you're not using a regular website name domain name for accessing this website it's a great ticket thank you for submitting it I'm sorry that you're having this issue because it's a bad issue but it is what it is uh, you may be able to proceed uh, with it but you know it's definitely a security uh, issue with the certificate itself I'm going to say this issue is related to web sites certificate certificate or the front end of the website needs to be fixed please see my video for details